the oceans are some of the most incredible yet unexplored places on our planet. With that being said, scientists and researchers have made some incredible discoveries over the years. Although the ocean can be beautiful to look at, it also has many dangers. The sad truth is that the ocean has claimed many lives over the years. Amateur swimmers often aren't aware of the dangers and often panic when they're in certain oceanic conditions. For example, crosswaves are something that many aren't aware of. These are nice to look at as they form almost perfect water-like grids, but they can cause trouble for boats, snorkelers, surfers and swimmers. One of the first things you'll notice is the perfect grid-like patterns, and in some cases these have enticed people into the ocean. The reason it gets this look is because two sets of wave systems start connecting with each other. This in turn causes a strong current. It's been said that the main cause of these grid waves, or as they're officially known cross sea is due to two different weather systems meeting under the sea. After conducting tests though, it's been found out these grid-like patterns can cause massive amounts of damage to things like ships, and even worse for people that are swimming in the region. Scientists have even said that these patterns could help to explain why people disappear in the water, and why ships suddenly sink or vanish. In fact, a cross sea is said to be even more stronger than riptides. For those unaware, a riptide or rip currents are powerful channels of fast moving water, and again, they can be treacherous to swimmers. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have said they're prevalent along the United States, as well as along the shores of the Great Lakes. Further saying that these rip currents can move up to 8 feet per second. Swimmers usually panic and try to swim against the harsh currents, usually resulting in the swimmer drowning because of fatigue. Going back to cross waves, researchers have found out that one place that often has them is France. The grid like patterns don't stay that way permanently, instead, they start to break down when the older waves get weaker. Once this happens, you'll usually have a lifeguard that says it's safe to go back into the water. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have said not to risk these types of conditions. Even strong swimmers can weaken quickly. It's better to stay out the water than risk these conditions. So my question to you guys is have you ever seen these cross waves? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.